No one cares. Frankly, let's be frank. Let's be honest. Especially with the way technology is uh, taking things over, the way our, our attention spans. Uh, no one, no one cares. You see all these clickbait titles. You see all these trying to grab your attention because they know you don't care really if they don't do something outlandish and that's why you hear clout is a hell of a drug why because people do the craziest things just to go viral just to have that bit of attention to them just so that people can care about them think about that so that they they go they will set things alike they will they will go to dangerous parts of town, they will do dangerous things, they will eat detergent. They will eat detergent. You do that think about it. They'll become bots on TikTok so that you could give so they can gain that attention. No one cares. And that's good and bad. It's bad because of everything I've just stated, but it's good because it allows you to understand what's important to you, what matters to you, what resonates with you. No one cares, but don't take that negatively because that's a blanket statement. Yeah, you know, even with this, it's a way to grab your attention. No one cares. You know, what does he mean by this? But. It's in a w it, it, those who do care will stand with you through thick and thin. They will go into the valley of hell, the depths of beyond, by your side. Your brothers, your lovers, SOs, you know. But you need to also understand to an extent that even with those who are the closest to you, to an extent, they care to an extent. There's no one who will fully 100% care. Why? Because they have their own life, their own issues, their own problems that they have to deal with themselves. So they can't 100% care about your one when they have to go through their own. So that's why I'm saying this. To those out there who feel low, they feel at the bottom, the, 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 they're reaching their trough, they're reaching the bottom. I want you to know that no one cares. And use that as a driving force to allow you to do things that you care about. Because when the going gets tough, when the darkness, when the clouds start to shroud, only you will be there. Can you get yourself out of it? You need to be your biggest motivating force, your, the biggest motivating factor. I used to watch motivational videos. And it helped temporarily. Oh, I thought it did help. You get that quick dopamine surge of, yes, I will do it. What? Impossible just means I'm possible. As I stopped watching motivational videos after that one. That Nathan, Nathan will know that, that, that was, that was, that really, it put into perspective what it is I'm actually watching. Don't get it wrong. If you can use motivational videos in a good way. Um, that's why I started my um, uh, motivational moments on a Monday, my uh, Thursday thoughts as, a, as shorts on a Thursday, because it was, it helped, it helped me, it's the a, it's a shorts that I found useful, I find motivational, that give me a little bit of that extra boost, I thought if, if it did it to me, maybe those like-minded, those that may not have been able to catch this, and maybe doom scrolling, I might be able to catch one of you, and hopefully, you know, help you uh, improve yourself and motivate yourself during the day. But it, essentially, it's distracting you. It's trying to, <laughs> if content at the end of the day, that will probably be monetized, it's still trying to grab your attention, you know, and they come up with these things. I'm impossible means I'm possible, like, when you really sit down, you're like, what am I watching? I'm wasting my time still. It is a false sense of security, a false sense of I'm doing something. I'm actually trying to, well, I'm watching these motivational videos so that I can be motivated to do something. Just do it. Only you can tell yourself to do it. And you will hear that, but you hear the voice saying, do it. We suppress it. 
it's a little bit quieter now to do the right thing when you have homework to do it straight away when you uh, you want to go to the gym you know that you need to be improving your 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 exercise let's go to the gym you're like no you suppress it let me work on my channel how can i make more money can i read a book all of these positive things should i oh should we go to mcdonald's no i i think we should eat healthier today these voices are there you know they're there that's that's the thing that's crazy you're trying to it's the, it, that inner voice is trying to help you and we suppress it think about it think about how crazy that is we have an inner motivational system and we suppress it quick dopamine the tiktoks the shorts the the, the, the reels the useless things you know the 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 the, 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 the sexual attraction the lust in the society and i'm not saying it to say i'm in a better i'm i'm higher than everybody no i i'm saying it cuz i understand it i'm in it i i see it myself i open up my insta page and boom we got a big booty Latina. I'm like, yo. It's like I'm not gay, so like, thank you. But at the same time, it's rotting our. Bra- we get, we get, we get taken in. But the people who post it, do they care about you? No, they care about the view you give them. They care about the interaction. And those who are in social media understand this, because that's what we're all trying to do. You know, uh, watch this video. Uh, like, I want you to watch the video, but as much as I want you to watch the video, I also want you to do better. I would rather you click off this video right now and went to do something that will benefit your life than watch my entire video through. Like, it helped my retention. I, I'm, I'm like, but please do. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to try and be more consistent with this because I've been suppressing myself. Because I care. <laughs> And the more I, I get caught up in this world we're in, the more I understand that there's not enough people out here to say this. Maybe there's too many. Maybe it might be too saturated right now. But I feel like there, there's, for the people who did it to me, I want to be someone who can do it to you. I came across Jalen Jenkins. He caught me with a, I'm 22 and I have no friends. I have friends. But it still resonated with me because I can understand that feeling when you're in the grind. I have friends, but those who are really in this grind of trying to improve themselves and be better, I it, it, I don't know if it's in the same vein, right? I don't know if it's in the same type of category. I have a few that understand that mindset and, you know, we bounce back and forth and We'll sort things out, but it's rare. It's a rare thing because it's it's long. This is long. It's a it's an arduous process. So when he when I saw that video, I really it 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 it, it hit me. It touched me. I went to a video and I subscribed to him, and he talked about his experience. He talked about the things he's trying to do, and it it all resonated with me because it's like yeah, I am trying to do all this, and I'm sure he has friends in the same way. And it's just to clickbait the title as as we do, right? Or maybe it isn't, because it did feel authentic. And maybe he meant it in the same way I meant it. There's a few of us who talk about their minds. You know, you know, Charlie, for example, he does it more on trending topics, but he started off this way, talking about things related to him and, you know, the stories of, 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 of his life. And I, I want to do this. I want to talk about stories of my life or thing or, or thoughts that, come to me that may benefit you as the uh as the viewer as a fellow comrade on this journey of life you know trying to improve ourselves because i know that the life we want to live and where we currently are are two different places and it hurts that we're not quite there but how can we get there? Only you can answer that. Because only you care enough to answer that. You can tell somebody your dreams and ambitions and they can understand. 
sympathize, maybe even empathize, but they will never care like you will because they have to care about their own selves. And that's what I wanted to say for today. No one cares. And I don't mean this in a negative way. I mean it in a way of use that. Because if no one cares, then who will care for you? Leave a like, comment down below your thoughts. And let's build a community. Subscribe. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way life goes.